Well, g'day, flatties and globe defenders. That's a critical thing from down under. And today we're going to talk about the theory of relative density as proposed by flat earthers. But first, I should make this video the right way up. Okay, now I've got this uh, glass. It's an etched glass, a Wolfpack etched glass, and uh, very kindly donated to me by Gary Graham in the UK. So that's fantastic, Gary. There's a link to his channel in the comments. Now, the theory of relative density says that this glass is denser than the air below it. So if I were to let go of the glass, which I'm not going to do, um, then it would fall and it would go in the density direction, which otherwise is known as down. Now, how the density knows uh, which direction is down is still a bit of a mystery. Um, but anyway, maybe one day a flat earth scientist will be able to solve that. So also then, water. Water is more dense than air, and I can let the water pour into the glass, the water will find its own level, <laughs> uh, and I can pour water out the glass. I can even drink the water. Mmm, that's great. Some countries you can't drink the water out of a tap, but you know, we're fortunate enough to be able to do that here. So, we have here also a piece of cardboard which I've cut off a, a uh, protein bar box. And of course, if we drop this cardboard, it's more dense than air and it will move in the density direction. Right, so we've established that. Now, we're going to test out this theory of relative density. I'm going to fill this glass until it cannot be filled anymore. And I'm going to place this cardboard on top of the glass. So I've just placed the cardboard on top of my Wolfpack glass. And now I'm going to hold that cardboard there, turn the glass upside down. Now. The theory of relative density says that the cardboard is more dense than the air and the water is more dense than the air. So both will fall when I take my hand away from under this cardboard. So if they fall, the theory of relative density would appear to hold. If they don't fall, this could very well prove a failure for the theory of relative density. So I'm going to take my hand away now. Hmm. Hmm, that's a bit strange. Ah, oh, so flat earthers, you're going to have to think up. Something for that, perhaps you're going to need a law of reversed relative density that will hold in certain circumstances. Now the water will seep into the cardboard, eventually this will give way, but we'll see how we go here with that, you see. And look, I can turn that upside down and it doesn't fall out. How does this work in the land of relative density? That's what I'd like to know from your flat earthers. Because uh, this, all of this, water, cardboard, more dense, not work, not falling. So just to show that it's no, not glued to the glass or anything, I'm just going to tap this cardboard here and everything will fall. There you can see that. So, floodies, love to hear your explanation. First of all, there's a couple of mysteries to do with your law of relative density. One is uh, why doesn't it work there? That's certainly a mystery. And uh, number two, how does how is the density direction determined? You know, how does density know that? that it should go what we call down. I'm not really sure how you work that one out. Is there some kind of magical unknown force that um, perhaps you don't know about? You know, <clears throat> you flat easily say that gravity is an unknown force, therefore it doesn't exist. So is density an unknown force and therefore doesn't exist? And um, there's a lot of things that you need to work out for this, for instance, like this. How do you account for that in your law of relative density? Okay, that's it today. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, 
don't forget to like and subscribe.